Miranda from the Open Design Project here. Today's video is about starting a layout part in Inventor 2013. A layout part is just a normal Inventor IPT part. It's what's contained within the part and how it's used that separates it from your average ordinary part. For this blog tutorial, we'll be creating several configurations of layout parts for various components. The one we will be creating today is for all components created in-house. Let's get started. Start by creating a new part. Inventor 2013 has a new Create New File dialog that will be a huge help to those of us who have tons of custom templates. All we need, though, is the standard inch IPT. If you've used any other version of Inventor before 2013, you'll notice a big change here. The 2013 version of Inventor no longer creates a sketch automatically upon part creation. What you do is click on the Create 2D Sketch tool, then pick whatever plane you wish. If this goes against everything you stand for, go to the Tools tab, Application Options, Part tab, and change it back the way it used to be. I'm going to expand the origin folder so we can see the highlighting. Then, if we hover over the planes, we can see what they are. We want to create a sketch that will represent a slice dead center through our model from front to back. So if you look at the UCS indicator, XY is the front plane. We don't want that. As you hover over the planes, look at the highlighting in the browser. The XZ plane will be our base plane, so we don't want that one either. The YZ plane, which is the right and left plane, will run dead center down the middle of our model and is where we want to begin sketching. Click on the plane and rename the sketch Side Elevation. Then, right-click in the canvas and choose Finish 2D Sketch from the Marking menu. Save your part file, and if you are seeing this on the Open Design Project, continue your sketch with the instructions below this video. If you are seeing this elsewhere, head to the Open Design Project at the following link, or use the one in the description below the video on YouTube. Thank you. 